Kuzal up show. We've got to get this bed done today. After the rain, this has been drying off in the sun, so it's a lot better. Um, the bed has to be 180 or 190 centimetres down, so which we'll just measure now. Boom, boom, 40, 50, 60, 70. We've got 88, remember it's a bit bent there, though. And then we need 120 across. Of course, I'll go double check in the van in a second to make sure that's still correct. 120 is 122. So if I can measure a part in the van, get it at 122, and the double check, of course, then we won't have to cut this then. But if we do, then it's just annoying. All day I've been thinking it's Friday, me thinking I've got to get this done today because I'm meant to be going on a trip I don't really want to go on. But no, it's Thursday, so we've got still the rest of the day to do this. It's Thursday afternoon. 118, and then we measure up measure that section which is 2 so that's 120 it's 120 so the bed's going to be 120 across um, of course there's 122 on the piece of wood so we need to cut two centimeters off and considering I struggle cutting straight lines, it's going to be a bit annoying. But if we get it done, we get it done. And then once it's done, we can finish screwing. Well, these are already screwed in, but I mean, just making these slats a lot tighter. These aren't slats for the mattress, by the way. This is like the pull-out platform for the other bit of wood, so it doesn't, you know, fall into the cupboard underneath. <sighs> All right, let's get this done. centimeters. Now it's just cutting it out. So I've just done a bit of measuring and this piece is just a little like I need to cut a corner off which I already knew I had to anyway, just wanted to know where it was. Got this bit of wood here, as you can see I've put designs all up it and that's because the scribble sections are the parts we don't need and then we need the clear sections because the layout I'm now doing, I'm having to kind of slot them in the slats and I'm going to have to build an extra leg. I'll show you guys that later. I kind of wanted to keep it a surprise until I've got the parts correct so I can show you the installation. But yeah.
Okay, so I've been trying to sort it out on this corner section. I keep putting it in the van and it keeps banging and isn't straight even though it's straight. So I've tried Frankensteining it. I have a feeling that bit's going to come into power next. But I mean, I'm going to try and slot this back in and see if this fits. I want to show you guys the slotting in process. But I'll spoil it. The finished product, I guess. No, screw it, I'll show you. Alright, that's a lot better, I guess. I don't know. I probably didn't need to cut all this off, but it's gone. I'll fill it back in, but I don't know, I'm trying to make this... Oh, now it's saying it's on that corner. Are you serious? It's on that corner up there. Maybe the whole thing just needs to be cut out of slant. I'll show you what I mean, right? It's around here. Right, I'm trying to make this straight. So you've got the platform down here. That's where the, uh, like, this wood is going to slide out. So that's all sorted there, right? And then it's just not straight. Like, these are straight, right? That's straight. That's not. So it needs to go to there, right? Cool. And you go over here, and you realise, oh, wait, there's nothing here. So you kind of, like, make it like that, go, yeah. Well, that, that, that feels straight. And you get, like... Where is it? Where's that block? This block. Right. And then you'd go like that. I'm trying to show you. You could do that. And then you adjust that. There we go. So that's straight. And that's straight. Right? But then, even though this cuts the size, it overhangs all down here, right? That's not the worst bit. Because when you come up and you walk around it, right? Look at it. And that's at an angle, and it's banging on that corner. So, like, I took all this away, thing is there, and now it's just going further down and further down. Do I need to just cut this at an angle? I think I do. Oh, that's blue. Okay, guys, I actually lost my camera for a bit. I've got it now, and I can show you what I've done. Woo, it fits, right? It's in, it's in, it's clean, and it's in. What I ended up doing was I trimmed down this side to make it straight. And then uh, over here, as you can see, well, can you see? And my phone's on 2%, but I mean, I'll just get the uh, good old boom. Well, yeah, that's a silicone stain. But I mean, as you can see, I've actually slotted the wood in there, and now I'm going to refill that gap. Uh, I would also like to say real quick, I've just seen the comments on the video, people saying, why are you using silicone? Well, I'll tell you why I've been using silicone. They're like, why are you using bathroom silicone? First of all, silicone's not permanent, right? That's the main aspect for what I'm doing. It's not permanent. And then if it ends up becoming permanent, I've chosen bathroom silicone because it's waterproof. Need I say more? Like, I'd rather have it waterproof than not. And it's clear because it cannot be seen. Um, and it's there because it's there just in case. Like, I can put things and see how it looks, then remove it. And it's just easier than putting wood glue or something, then, you know, wood glue stain and blah, 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 blah. But, yeah, so, apart from that little rant, um, I've noticed a lot of you guys haven't been clicking the uh, bell notification. So click that bell notification when you subscribe, because if you're not subscribed to this channel, you better be subscribing. And you better click that bell notification so you actually see when I upload. And another thing that I've actually done on the van is, well, you can see this bit of wood. And as it goes out, you're going, hang on, that's not straight. But it is. <laughs> Why? Because I, I, I did know stupidly and didn't change it couldn't be yeah that goes to the edge there that doesn't so that's that gap which I know you're like Oliver you literally you don't know what you're doing you don't know carpentry at the end of the day no you're correct right I do not know carpentry however I've made this like 
it's structurally sound, right? This is a very structural, it's, you know, it's connected to the walls, it's connected to the sides, it's connected to the floor, it's all sound. Yeah, I've still got a lot of screwing ins to do, you know, this is literally the base. You've got, oh, Scott's remembering, it's not going to look like this at the end because I'm going to decorate it and blah, 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 and make it look amazing. You know, put like little trim, trimming and stuff just to make it look amazing. But this is what it is at the moment, okay? Like the top isn't drilled in, this isn't drilled in, that's not drilled in because it's not permanent. And that's, that's the main thing that I've got to try and get across. It's not permanent. It's still got a lot of work to do, this van. You know, it's not something I'm going to be able to knock out in the next week or so. I've probably got another month on this. So, you know, I'm just trying to do it. But, I mean, until then, you know, this is a... Uh, sorry, I'm just a bounce in the air. Man. That's my phone. I'm all, I also need to use this bed as well. I'm going to be using it t possibly tomorrow evening and possibly Saturday evening as well as today is Thursday evening. Uh, I'm not gonna use it, no, I need to use it tonight. So I'm just gonna go on the floor again. Well, I was, I don't know, I don't, I, I don't trust it until the screws are in. Um, but no, it's because I'm, I'm going away with Curtis. Yeah, I know birds, I know it's hilarious, Curtis, right? So, uh, I actually need the van set so up, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to film that trip, I don't think. It's, yeah, I'm just going to Oxfordshire, so nothing big. But it'd be good if this bed is structural until then. Also, I'm going to paint it because the brown is just so boring. I'm thinking of doing a white. Paint it white tomorrow, maybe. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. We've got a lot of work on this van to do. doesn't go in any further what the hell all right so as you can see it's pretty much in none of this is drilled down or anything like that as I don't want it to be at the moment because I still need to get under you know I still need to work under the bed but I'm just gonna like it, it's not straight a lot of it's not straight okay but once it's all covered up and everything it's gonna look pretty cool so if I just take everything off here now like you know, who needs my oil to weigh down what I was trying to work out? And who needs some, like, instant net and stuff? No, no, not at all. Right? So, let's test this bed out, because that's what it's here for. So, remember, it's not drilled down, so I'm trying to do this, what it would be like if it's drilled down. So this would come out like this, right? Right, that's lifting up, because that, that would be drilled down, so that wouldn't lift up. It's a floppy platform. Hang on. I might have to make some sort of little rail for it to slide onto on that wall for a bit more sturdiness, but hang on. The mattress isn't cut or anything, this is still a work in progress, but I mean, this is pretty much what the bed's going to be. So, if I just climb on, this will all be secured and everything, and then just climb on here. Oh, yes, there needs to be some sort of wooden rail on that side definitely which I don't mind putting in but I mean apart from that like it's pretty much a bed right <laughs> there'll be another one of these here and then that gap down there's going to be a cupboard but I mean I think we've done a really good job here I'm I don't get me wrong I'm really happy with myself on this this is amazing and this is the size of a small double bed okay so once this is connected and one well connected as in 
bed sheets, blah blah blah. I can even just sleep like this, or like this, or if I if I'm too lazy to put the bed out, just sleep. Get my pillow and just sleep like this. And I've made my own roof and I've done my walls. And we're not done. We're not done in the van at all, right? Like this van. I don't know if it looks big or small. Like if the door's closed. This is all I've got, right? Oh, I'm so happy. It's still got a little bit of editing, editing, as I've said. But I mean, I'm thinking of adding shelves as well. Like here, maybe add that to like a little cabinet shelf, put deodorant, blah, blah, blah on there. I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely happy with this. This is absolutely amazing. So I've used this adhesive nails thing and I've uh, put it all in this gap and then I've taped it up. Why have I taped it up? How else am I meant to hold it together when there's literally nothing to push against? Yeah, so that's just holding it and that's drying. And while that's drying, I'm go I bought some more um, little little screws and little angle brackets and I'm just gonna be screwing the rest of the bed and you know, just making it a bit more strong. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm going to end this video here. If you're not subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell notification and my face looks really exposed. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, share and I'll see you guys all in the next video of the van build because we've uh, made definitely a bed platform, 100% because I can now sleep properly in here. Adios, my miss amigos. Bye. Chill out, watch you yell and roar. Lay back, it's all been done before. And if you could only let it be, you would see. I like you the way you are when we're driving in your car. And you're talking to me one on one. That you become somebody else. Grab everyone else. You're watching your back like you can't relax. You're trying to be cool. You look like